starting off with a completely bare face nothing I just washed my face and came on here with you to do this routine so um, I, I have to say it does feel pretty good not to wear any makeup I was thinking I was like I was going back and forth deciding like what kind of makeup do I want to show with you guys and I feel like my moon goddess makeup has changed so much from the beginning start of the channel here but to be honest a lot of the things i do are still the same so i'm just going to show you kind of a basic moon goddess day um if you guys like this type of video water water with lemon and my little gamora shaker here this is actually used for like um like protein shakes and stuff like that but i like i don't know i just i like drinking whatever out of here um, drinking water just leaves me very refreshed and ready to do so the first thing I like to do is one, make sure all this pink hair is out of the way so we can just see my face. I'm going to be looking off to the side in this mirror so I can um, kind of see everything. <laughs> um, so pretty much it's going to be a simple little, little look, moon goddess look. Um, so here we go. I have to I keep I keep all of my makeup in this bag. It 
it's a little decker, double decker bag I call it, because it has a smaller side on the top, and on the bottom, it has like the bigger stack, so I have that. So lately, I haven't really I really like this one. It's good for my skin. It's kind of a combination, like it doesn't make it too oily, it doesn't make it too dry, and I really like that. So I'm just gonna take a little bit here. Like that. Wow, it actually came out today. Usually it always gives me problems. It doesn't like want to come out of the bottom. Enjoy the sensation. <laughs> Not getting hair in my eyes all around. Perfect, perfect. Just feeling around, making sure everything feels secure. Almost right after that, I put on a little chapstick. The one I wear is this little LA Gelato, Gelato chapstick lip balm, chocolate in the scent chocolate. And it's so, oh, it's so yummy. I just want to eat it, but I don't. I learned that the hard way the first time I wore chapstick. So, keep my lips nice and moisturized. with a with warm water and for a little extra touch I've been doing this lately and I just I just personally like it. This is my rose water. I'm gonna spray a little bit on my actual sponge. Swirl that up. Little princess swirl. Oops. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna start with my foundation here. Can you see it? Rare beauty. Rare beauty. Rare beauty. Rare beauty. Rare beauty. Rare beauty. This is my favorite foundation ever. Like, personally, I love this one. I just love it. So, y'all don't feel fun. This is, this is the way that I do my foundation I always is I draw two X's on the side of my face this is my little vision my little like time stone here in the middle <laughs> and down and did I learn this from anybody? no this is just the way that I do it this is just the way that I do it <laughs> and then I just bah, 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 all over my face Smooth. Sorry, I'm like trying to get my hair out of the picture here. All around. God, it's so funny looking at it in this light. All around my jaw. Get that little nose going. I mean, not a little. around, over my eyes too, over my eyes, and under, got a little streak there going on, <sighs> okay, let me use my, my closer 
closer mirror here just to make sure didn't miss anything. Okay. Looking pretty good. So this is my foundation. Okay. This is the look. Then almost right after that, I like to give my face a little bit of time to set. And in the meantime of that, I'm going to open up my little pouch here. Oh my god, I have a My Melody pouch. It matches my slime. A sweet smile, a pretty melody. It matches my slime. That's so funny. I picked this up at Daiso just because I, I thought it was so cute. But like, now I'm realizing this is a character. And it's the same character that's on the slime that I bought recently. So anyway... here and I'm gonna take out my eyebrow brush you can see where I'm heading um, so right now the current state of my eyebrows is multi bush okay very bushy right now so usually I would go in and take this like gel type um, eyebrow liner but because they're kind of bushy right now and I haven't plucked them or done anything oops because I haven't done any of that yet, I actually am going to be using powder instead. I just feel like I have a better handle on them, like I can control a little bit more with the powder, which sounds maybe funny, but that's just how I do it. So, eyebrows are pretty much the always the part of my face that's like, it's gonna be a good day, or it's about to be a day <laughs> with the eyebrows. So, we'll see how it goes, Jen. But I'm gonna try to get it. I don't wanna block the light so much, but so I think I'm just gonna come right up here, get a little bit closer, if you don't mind. Um, so as you can see here, I am brushing them into the angle I want. Okay. And then I'm gonna do the same thing over here, brushing them up into the So now that I have it brushed, um, I'm gonna go in here with, <laughs> I've had this, oh my god, it was a show I was working, and Ben Nye is a very common makeup brand that's used um, in theater productions and whatnot, so I uh, got to take this and um, I've been using it for a while, this brand, so I just, yeah, so I'm just gonna kind of go in here and trace what I want, and then I'll come back and take away what I don't want. So, I'm just kind of filling in here a little bit. Just filling in the best that I can. so weird. I feel like it's weird, but it really helps to make it like even the way I like it. So now that the face is set, now that the face is set and I've done my eyebrows, I can start um, kind of contouring. So I, um, especially when I really want to give my face a little more definition, especially when I'm with you guys, things just look different on camera. So I love to go in, sorry, it's kind of dirty my Fenty matchstick. My Fenty matchstick here. I'm just gonna pull it up and then outline exactly where I want things to go. I don't know, yeah, that's, what, that's all I really do for now. I just do a little bit there. Um, I'm gonna take my brush here, contour brush, contour brush, and lift, lift, 
it up into the skin. Mm -hmm. Push it up into the skin. Just like so. just like that and then almost right after that I go into my bronzer my Fenty bronzer in the color Caramel Cutie it's very bright Caramel Cutie Caramel Cutie yes and now fluffing in that area and under the jaw and now oops <laughs> sorry okay let me scoot back here how are we doing so far it's looking pretty good this is pretty much look um and now I'm gonna go Sephora Microsoft powder. My Microsoft powder here. This powder is the softest powder ever, which is why it's called Microsoft. Like, it's just like. It's like you're barely touching it. It's like cotton candy. It's so beautiful. So, I'm going kind of go into those areas where I normally would conceal but because I'm not concealing don't feeling and don't let it show is anybody gonna let it show? okay my Disney fans where you at? where you at? Um, <laughs> I'm going into those areas that are where I would normally conceal just a little bit just a wee bit and then, now that the face is pretty much more than halfway done, I'm gonna go back into the eyes and you're gonna see really how simple my day-to-day -day eyes are. Very, very simple. So, as you know, as a moon goddess, like, moon dust is a big thing, sparkles are a big thing, so that has to be very apparent in this look. So it's like kind of a natural looking face-ish. Ish. And um, so I am going to really keep the eyes in that same grain of kind of simple. But I also still want to keep it um, sparkly and glassy. God, so I have a couple sticks here. I have my match sticks here. Matchsticks. These are, I don't know why I keep on calling matchsticks. What the heck? They're not actually matchsticks. They're called glow glitters. Glow glitter. It's like a, a shadow liner, but it's like, I'm trying like a diamond. They're like glitter shadows. They're pretty much like liquid glitter shadows. So I have my two main ones here, which you can see I use a lot because they're almost done. So I am going to be using either rose gold or stardust, rose gold or stardust, rose gold. So I think I, I personally like the way the stardust looks because it's going to match my other sparkle freckles that I'm going to do later. So, but it's harder to get this one out because I use it so much. So literally, I just kind of stir it around. I gotta get another one of these. Gosh, I love it. I've had it for a long time. Probably over a year or two. I don't know. I just know how to make things last. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here and kind of check her. Like I'm not doing too much, but I do like to do a little bit of fan. Usually my looks do have a fanned out um, look regardless if it's um, simple or very um 
theatrical. So I like a little fan. Carve into the crease, as you can see. Mm -hmm. So that's that. So you see, got a little bit of a wing going on. Now I'm coming back to this side and checkering it out, checkering, checkering, checkering this part out, and then bringing it out to a wing, checkering. literally there boom pretty much done yeah look at that wing hard thing is you gotta look in like different angles to make sure it looks good so now that the glitter is done i lately i when i'm doing a more dramatic moon goddess look eyeliner is a big part eyeliner is super important and i like a liquid or a gel looking liner i've been doing pencil sometimes too um, but most of the time it's the liquid. So the next part is the mascara. Mascara. <laughs> so I, when I do more of a dramatic moon goddess look, it is definitely with falsies, false lashes, very big. Um, I, I love the way that false eyelashes look. So, um, but with this more natural fairy type look, I'm going to be kind of focusing on the inner to out look, inner to out, so there'll, it's going to be like a full look, kind of like the falsies, but still getting that extended kind of look, so I use about three different mascaras for this, and I am going to be starting off with um, brushing. My lashes. I don't use it like the extender thing. I like using a brush because it feels like I can really get, um, I can really get a fine hand on the individual lashes that I brush. So I start from the bottom on both sides. The first time is just kind of like preparing the lashes, like okay, you're about to get mascarified. This mascara is also my favorite because it makes such a fun sound. And it's one where you have to kind of twist in and pull out. Now we'll use that. Right. So, something that's been helpful for me with this look is looking like down, yeah, like looking down. So, your lashes, you can see underneath. for the first layer either with this look that I'm doing I I really don't sometimes I just let my eye do the work too by moving in to the lash eye so that's the first first little layer so kind of give that a second so when I'm when I let the first layer kind of just dry do its thing that's when I move on to the second part of my face. So that is the blush. That is the blush. I am a blush girl. I love blush. I will use way too much before I will use way too little. So, here we go. Kind of smile big. Sometimes I bring it more to the center too, depending on how dramatic I want it, but today I'm just kind of hitting the cheeks where it, it like looks good on my skin, you know? 
make my melanin pop. So since I brushed it on, since I applied it on the bottom, I'm going to also brush it on the bottom. So the other side. Okay. So now it's pretty fanned out. Thing is too clumped. There we go. Now I'm going to take this again. And this time we're going to do the top layer. Okay. And now this side. Make sure you still can see. Sorry. it's like best to do a little bit of at a time so now that we're gonna let that dry we're gonna move on to my favorite part of my routine which is the sparkle glitter you guys have seen me use this moon dust before I'm sure but um, this is what I use on my face to instead of like doing a highlight which I will sometimes do like I'll probably still do a little highlight on my nose area, but I am a big fan of this stuff for freckles. This is just like moon dust body glitter, you know? So I really use this. So what I do is just I go adjust it. more. Come over the hill. And now obviously it's kind of just everywhere. So what I'm going to do is just pat it while it's still wet all over here. Yeah, just like I would do highlight. And then I just sometimes I just put a little more on my finger like this and come and decorate the nose a bit when I say a bit, I mean kind of a lot because you can never have enough of moon dust, moon dust. as a human for like little squishies they can't have moon dust it's like way, way too much powerful they could like, they could literally explode if they have too much moon dust so you know, these things need to be regulated just like anything you know, anything that's been studied moderation so now I'm, I'm doing a little bit more than I usually would, but now you see I have the moon dust pretty much speckled all across my face. Yay. And now again, let that dry. Move back to the eyes. Move back to the eyes. So if you remember, the layer we did was on the top part. So I'm going to brush down this time instead of up. Down. Same on this eye. Down, 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 down. Okay. And now what we're going to do, we're taking this same uh, mascara still, and we're going to come on the bottom up. This time, really working on brushing. really working on brushing. I feel like this step is what kind of darkens all the lashes and makes it kind of more um, thick, like makes it look thicker. I kind of like do this weird like head shake thing into it too. It's kind of like I'm bunching them up together. Okay. Pretty good, pretty good. 
I'm liking it, I'm liking it. Okay. And guys, guess what? That is the end of this brush. <laughs> that is the end. So, okay. This one does not have to dry actually for very, very long, but we're gonna let it dry anyway because we're gonna move on to. Remember how I said I like to highlight my nose a bit? Here's my highlighter. And what is this one called? Oh, it's called Oh Darling. Oh Darling. How cute is that? Mac always has such great names with their products. So I'm going to take my highlighter here. And actually for the nose part, I kind of just use my hand like this. See how shiny that is? And I'm just going to kind of gently come on the bridge of the nose. And I just feel like it, it kind of just brings to life the moon dust that's already on the bridge here. It looks really super bright in the camera. Like that probably looks super super bright, but to be honest, I like it. And then I'm just gonna come in here. So this is what I, how I think about the highlight is like this highlight is like the galaxy and the moon dust are the stars all in it. So it's kind of like making a galaxy on your face, like a whole a whole system. So I really like the way that this has turned out. See how it's just very, very bright, very youthful, fun. I am like all about exploring new things with your makeup. It's your face and you get to do whatever you want to do. So now that we have that part, finally we're going to move into the next, which actually is a lot. Very quick. So this is my second mascara that I use. Really retro bottle. I love this one. And this one has shorter bristles, if you can see, very close. So this time I'm just gonna go on the upside and I'm just gonna lightly bring it forward. Lightly bring it forward. dry for a second. Now that we've done that little bit of lift with this one, we need my third one. Which, where did I put it? So this one is actually more for usually what I use for my bottom lashes because it's got the really long, skinny, thin bristles. But to be honest, it kind of depends because when I do lashes on the bottom lash, mascara on the bottom lashes, it kind of gives a different look. So it just kind of depends what mood I'm in. Like I really think like the long lashes on the top give more of a baby look. Kind of 60s, but to be honest, like women in the 60s also went all out with the bottom lashes as well. At least like when it comes to um, the Supremes. I believe the Supremes. So anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do this as an extra lift on the bottom because I think it really close to my waterline, really close because it's so thin. So, um, for just like another lifting kind of thing. So we have that. So it's funny because you see how much time it takes. Oops. You see how much time it takes to kind of get this done, but it's really like, it's, if I would be doing like, if I did a full eyeshadow, then yes, it would be kind of longer, but that's pretty much the, the natural look that I pretty much do on a daily basis. If I'm going out, if I'm going out panda for filming episodes or, you know, just going to pick out some bamboo for the day. This is the look. So this was so much fun. Thank you so much for suggesting this. Now I'm just gonna kind of show you the last finishing touches because I have my finishing powder. 
which is by Laura Mercier, but to be honest, I'm not even putting it on because um, I'm not really going anywhere and I'm just filming and sometimes I, when I put my powder on, it like, it, I have a hard time bringing back to life all the highlights. Like usually I do the powder first and then the highlight situation, but I kind of forgot, so. So this is just a little bit of rose water. I use this sometimes for setting, so I'm gonna kind of just go. so good if you can get your hands on some rose water even if it's not this brand I, I recommend it big time so with the um with the lip situation when I'm doing a natural kind of lip to be honest I'll just put this this is you know like my number one lip gloss I will just put this right on my lips with nothing else like this gives such a nice look. I've been kind of wanting to try this, um, this lip, it's a, it's a matte liquid lipstick by Kylie Jenner, <laughs> the melt, whatever. I've had it and, um, you know, I thought it might be kind of cool because it smells like chocolate and I'm a sucker for good smelling things, I'm not going to lie. So let's just see, it's going to be a brown. I have more of like a reddish, pinkish, I think. So this is going to give a completely different look. So, I'm just going to line these lips. Line these lips. It's so brown. Oh my god, I feel like it's so funny. It's like, usually I wouldn't go for this because I feel like it kind of like just blends into my skin. Hold on, it might still do something for me with the color on top. So we're gonna let that dry for a couple seconds. All right, so now we're gonna take our magic here. And, oh my God, can you guys tell, there you go. Can you see that? Whoa. I kinda just wanna put it in the middle. kind of just like pat it around. I don't really go in and smear it because I like have a specific look. Okay, so that is how I do my signature natural moon goddess look. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you Saturday for moon, more moon magic.